Welcome to uh, this demo on painting soft clouds. So I've laid out the, um, the colors that I'm going to be using. So corner here, I've got titanium white. This one is actually a permalba white. I've got my cadmium yellow, medium. This is a cadmium green. Here is the, is the sap green that I use. This is ultramarine blue. And this is a Windsor blue. You could also use a phthalo blue or phthalo cyanine blue. And in this corner, I've got my red deep, cadmium red deep. And I've got a, a cadmium orange as well. And in the middle, I've got my solvent-free gel. So that is a, a useful product that I like to use to help the paint to dry faster and um, just give a, the paint a little more uh, flow. So I'm going to start by mixing my sky color. So I'm going to use my ultramarine blue. And I like using the palette knife. It's very good for mixing, of course. And I want to lighten the value, so I'm, I'm adding a bit of the white to get the appropriate value. So value is, is an important principle in painting. We have to understand values in order to achieve the depth and aerial perspective that we need to get here. And then a very, very small amount of the Windsor Blue. It's a very, very strong value color. And you can see how they're mixing now. So we're going to, I'm, I'm going to create about two or three values here. So first I've got my ultramarine with a very small amount of that Windsor blue in it. Then I'm going to add a little more of the Windsor blue and I've got a little bit of white in there, as I said. Then I'm going to add a little more of the white, more of the medium. Like that. And then down below, we've got another value that we have to get, and that is even lighter. So I'm adding more white, a little more medium. So you can see how we've we've got the the lighter values, the lighter tints of the sky. Okay. So it's important to also create enough pigment or enough paint color so that you don't end up running out. Okay. So I'm going to just create maybe just a little bit more there, just so I have enough. Okay, this saves us time. When we start adding our, um, our, our colors together, we're going to find that we'll be able to, the paint will, uh, the painting will come together quickly as we have already got our colors ready to go. I'm now going to create a few cloud colors. So I've got some um, shadowed clouds. So I'm going to start with Again, the ultramarine. A little bit of the Windsor. And it's all, I just want all the colors to relate to each other. So I need a dark shadow color. So I'm gonna, this is my Cad Red Deep. So what I'm going to do is make a gray. I'm going to make a dark gray here. So I'm starting off with a dark value and then I'll be adding white. So 
So here comes the grays. Now you can create gray by using your complementary colors. And the complement of blue is orange. So I've used a red, which is what you could say a cousin to the orange. But I'm just going to show you here how to create that gray using the, um, the orange and blue together. That's the ultramarine blue with the, um, with the orange and white. And you see how we get that gray. Okay, so you can see how it's a little more greenish because the yellow, the, the orange has a little more yellow in it. You can see how it swings over to a warmer gray. And then as you continue to add your whites, then you can get lighter values of gray. Okay, now we're ready to paint the sky. So I'm going to show you a technique called the stitching technique. And we're going to start with the colors that um, I've shown that I've laid out. And there's the ultramarine blue with a slight bit of the Windsor blue and white in it. So I'm using uh, a flat, that's the brush that I'm using right there. And I'm going to lay in my dark, darkest blue here. So on the white, we've got a nice bright sky blue happening here. And then I'm going to move down to the next value and color I've created. And it's the mix of the ultramarine and the Windsor blue and white. Now I might open up my, my image it has got a lot of cloud, but I, I might open it up a little bit to show a little more of the blue sky coming through. And I'm going to get my next value. So you can see I'm moving down. So I went from here to there to there. And as I come down, you can see how the sky values change. Getting a little lighter. I'm going to add it just a touch more of the white, just to show a little more of that value change and color change. Okay. There, so you can see the, the change just as we have in our image up here. Now, if I was doing, if there were no skies, then the stitching technique that I would show you would be showing color transitioning or, or a gradation and moving into the next color like that. So we have the gradation of that darker going into the lighter. Okay. So it's dragging color from one value into the next and then going over it. And you can see how you get a beautiful seamless blend. And this works of course also in acrylics. Okay. But as you see, as I showed in the beginning, I'm starting, I'm using oils today. Okay, so we've got our blue sky. Now we can work at the clouds. Up in the corner, I've got some darker grays here. So I'm laying in the darks. And I typically will start with my shadows first, working dark to light. Just going to add a little bit more red. So I'm seeing darks here, 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 and a little bit there, but 
I'm going to just lay in the darks first and I'm just tweaking some of that color here and there. So in the middle, I'm seeing a little more, a little more warmth. So I'm adding a little more of the red in there. So it's a more reddish gray compared to the more bluish gray. The more you paint, the more you will become color sensitive and your eyes get a little more skilled at seeing shifts in color temperature. So I just keep, now I'm moving into another value of clouds. I'm, I'm lightening, lightening some of those grays by adding some white. And as I see different shifts of color, I can see a little warmer bit of gray here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of orange to that white and a little bit of red to the gray that I earlier created. So we're gonna see a slight change in our gray here. There. And the warm gray is a nice contrast to our nice cool blue sky. There. See that nice warmth next to that cool, nice warm and cool, getting some good vibrations. So we're coming down here to the, towards the barn. And here I'm going to just add a little bit of my, I, I don't want to get too thick right now because as I said, you don't want it to be too, too thick at this point. The, the texture I like to add later. But here I just want to create a little bit of um, a lighter area just to make sure I've got a good base. For my lighter cloud above the, just next to that dark roof. Now, if you look at this closely, you will notice that there are the lines from the brayer. So the earlier, the texture I applied with the brayer are now showing up. So you're seeing these interesting um, line patterns. And as I said before, your underpainting will have an effect on your final result. So there's some, some nice uh, evidence of that at this point. Okay, at this stage, I'm going to start to tie in some of these grays. So this is where we're using the stitching technique again. So where you want soft transitions and gradations, you can see how those tie in very nicely and keep everything very soft. So you get that characteristic of the soft cloud. As we move into the middle, we get some lighter areas here. So I'm adding a little more white. And then I'm pushing from the middle out. That way I get some, some soft edges moving out and look a little wind blown. And again, very soft. Keep blending. And there's the stitch again. So I'm moving that color into the next and then going over very lightly, soft touch for soft clouds. There. OK, 
Okay, so that's coming together. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little more here. I'm just doing a little more of that stitching. Okay, so just for that review of the stitching, that's what we do. Just lay those lines out and then just drag nicely, just drag over and you can see how it blends well. Okay, and there I'll leave you in stitches.